light. Watch the handbags. Professor Marsden? Jack Cox, head of security. Amber Electronics. Mike. Everything all right? Yes, thank you. Got people everywhere. Shouldn't be any problem. Thank you very much. Would you excuse me? No, 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 no. Merger is spelled T-A-K-E-O-V-E-R, and there's nothing wrong with that. Kind of the way life works, you know? SEC is coming in on Monday to do the gee whiz. Do we really have to audit? So by Wednesday, what? What? What financial improprieties? Well, that's bullshit. Cowardly bullshit. Yes. Look, you tell them that if they don't stop spreading lies, that I'm going to switch from hardball to wrecking ball. You got that? Yes. Well, you can tell them that. Oh. <laughs> My hero, don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Yes, but still very dangerous in this dress. Wow. Uh, don't mind me. Not that you would. Hey, don't you two know marriage is supposed to put a stop to that sort of thing? Perverts. <laughs> yes, sir. Pull right up there and stop for security. Shepard 2 here, Hound Dog. We've got Headmaster inside the loop. Copy that, too. Did rep on Kingfisher. It is an honor to finally meet you, Professor. My wife and I are great admirers of your work. We love your poems. I'm flattered, but I don't write poetry. I write novels. You have read my books. Uh, I have not, <laughs> but my wife tells me they are wonderful. Aha, uh -huh. so she is the power behind the throne. The Empress of Ambler Corporation. <laughs> Empress, I like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I oh, apologize. Yeah. Don't worry about it. My husband takes issues very seriously. When he was a boy, he had to wear hand-me-downs from his older brother. Yeah. He wore one size too small. <laughs> no problem, Professor. <laughs> Would you care for some more wine? Longbow here. Perimeter looks good. Beach is clear. Exemplified just by his being here. But before our honored guest speaks, we must thank our hosts, whose charity has made this event a reality. Chief Executive of Ambler Electronics Corporation, Mr. Jonah. Hey, partner. I'm not going to this party. I just live on down the road. of primitive fanaticism have not yet come to their souls. I ask you now, 
can we keep silent when all around us events demand that we cry out? Can we stand idly by while throughout the world looms the festival specter of atrocity? Hatred and prejudice are not losing <coughs> Majdi was gunned down today in an apparent terrorist attack by a previously unknown extremist Islamic faction. Fifteen people were killed and at least two dozen severely wounded in the attack. Is she? Could you find that? Is she okay? Sir, I'm sure everything's fine. Just so I'm going it's just such a, a shock. I, I, I don't know if it, if it was me. I, I I'm just. How, how long do you? Just, just a second. Jonas. Are you in much? Please. She made it, right? She made it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. No. No. Talk to you later. Mr. Ambler. Special Agent Rankle. Mr. Ambler, Senator wanted me to extend to you his deepest regrets. Majesty's killing rattled a lot of cages in Washington. Uh, and naturally, we're very sorry to hear about your loss. But the uh, man that you're looking for is an international terrorist for hire. Completely out of our jurisdiction. We can't just pick him up. Define can't. Is this can't as in humanly impossible? Or can't as in we just don't care enough about individual human lives to exact retribution? We are fully aware of the seriousness of this crime. But this particular guy is completely unapproachable. If I've learned anything from business, 
It's that no one is completely unapproachable. Now you tell me where he is and who he is. He's called Phoenix. He operates somewhere out of the Middle East. It's most likely that he was hired by a, an extremist faction to hit Majdi. Unfortunately, you and your wife were uh, innocent bystanders. I am not a bystander, Mr. Franklin. I am a player. And no one who ever fucked with me got away with murder. Am I fucking clear? Please, uh... Sam, is there anything I can... No one can do what this phoenix does for a living without making enemies. Somebody, somewhere, hates this guy, perhaps as much as I do. Let's find that man, shall we? As it says in the Bible, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well, there is somebody in the community. Decorated for bravery, real professional. Good as Phoenix, if not better. In the old days, they played the game against each other. Both the best in their field. Reds had Phoenix, we had Hawk. Now the Cold War's over, everybody's freelance. You guys make a deal, huh? Halfback is in the hole. <laughs> Spring. Come on. Just a pen and a credit card. Look, bag man. You want a drink? The girl first. The girl. She's a pretty one, ain't she? Yeah, pretty girl. Uh. Oh, this is gonna hurt you more than me. <laughs> Send another million. Then I'll think about letting little Miss Rich Bitch go. <laughs> Gentlemen, please be professional. Give me the girl. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Closer to retirement, yes! You can bring it out now! God damn motherfucking ass sucking son of a bitch, cocksuckers! Untie my fucking hands! Well, Daddy is sure gonna be glad to have her home. How's it going, buddy? Shoes are a long story. Captain May, Alan Bailey, Chief Financial Officer, Ambler Electronics. Nice meeting you. I'll take you to Mr. Ambler. Jack Cochran, my head of security and former NATO colleague of yours, I'm told. And my good friend, Alan Bailey. Alan. Captain May, Carl, codename Hawk, selected from the elite French commando Hubert to become captain in command of Sabre, NATO special operations team. 1984, Saber removes a Russian prototype tank from Kabul, Afghanistan, intact. 1986, Saber destroys the Cyclops computer network, Stasi headquarters, East Berlin. 1988, Saber extracts captured double agent Jupiter from Dzerzhinsky Square, Moscow, etc., etc. Wow, very, very impressive, very heroic. Your record is. Perfect, Captain. Except for one stain. Beirut, 1989. Phoenix masterminded the attack on the NATO barracks. You were in charge of security. I understand you retired afterwards. I want this man Phoenix, Captain Hawk. I think you'll have to take the number. Sir. The number I'm offering is two million dollars. Phoenix is way out in the ass end of nowhere. No man's land. Heard us day. Surrounded by every ex spetnaz and Warsaw pack killer he could drum up. There is one condition, however. I'll be going with you, and I will pull the trigger. It was a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Ambler. Shall we say three million dollars? It is not a matter of money, Mr. Ambler. I don't work this way. You drive a hard bargain, huh? Four million. I don't think you understand. I'm not a tour guide. Captain Hawk, wait. I've been from one end of Washington to the other. I've tried going through channels. But you mentioned Phoenix, and it's like saying Dracula. I, I won't be able to go on with my life if I don't do this. We're not talking business here, Captain. We're talking about my wife. She was the best thing in my life. She married me when I was poor, when I had nothing. So you, you name your price. Why not? All right. An amateur would get you killed. Dead people don't collect the money, Mr. Ambler. My physical condition is temporary. I'm in training. I'm not talking about your limp. I'm talking about your heart. You see, in my business, 
Emotion is a handicap. Emotion gets you killed. Consider this a free consultation, Mr. Andre. What? Are you afraid of Phoenix, Captain Hawk? Huh? Are you? Are you a coward? The numbers match, it's the chip. This stuff, it is definitely time to retire. Yes, step right over there. Where do I go with these? <coughs> I want you to get some rest. What do I keep telling you? Don't worry about me, Mom. Listen, you got about 10 minutes to get to your flight and get on home now. You hop to it. Do you have anything, Claire, sir? Yes, recovered goods. This is the documentation. Get some rest, Mac. Open the case, please. Whoa, wait a minute. Pal. Excuse me, sir. Japs do it, they got their money. 
the Yakuza, they don't work that way, they don't. So, what, the buyers? That doesn't make any sense either. Nobody would ever do a job for him again. Never. You should have seen the arraignment. The judge wanted to burn me at the stake. Half a million bucks for a bond. We'll get it. None of us have access to that kind of bread. They're gonna give me 10 years. I won't live to see half of that. We need a guy who can pull some strings. Captain Hawk, how nice of you to come by. I was sorry to hear about your troubles. I understand that uh, you and Mr. McLean. McLean are very close. That you've uh, been in business together for many years. Well, I think it's good that partners take care of each other through thick and thin. Can you get him out? <sighs> Must be devastating perspective loss of a loved one. But then again, you're the guy with no emotions, right? So it may not be so terrible for you. As you have guessed, I do have some influence in Washington, but I was hoping you came here because you reconsidered my offer. Possibly. Possibly. Well, I could arrange for bail and have him released in my custody. Keep him nice and comfortable here until we all get back. I never operate without my clean as my control, ever. Please don't think me naive. I realize that once McLean is free, you and he can disappear. But I am told that you are an honorable man, Captain. Do we have a deal? Yeah. Hey, guys, turn the heat up, will you? Looks just like Beirut. It's back bad memories, isn't it? Almost there. Target's on the other side. The mountain's called uh, El Jebel Manate. Mountain of the Sacrifice. Yeah. In ancient times, the locals used to perform human sacrifices there. Welcome to the Wild East, gentlemen. This is an exact replica of Phoenix's bedroom. We built the mock-up to intelligence specs one-to-one, -one, as you requested. Jonas, are you sure you want to go through with this? Gentlemen, this is Santa Magdalena, Phoenix's main base of operations. It's represented here on the sand table, 150 clicks from our present location there across these mountains. Now, Magdalena was built on the remains of an early 6th century Eastern Orthodox church, which was in turn built over a pagan temple, foundations of which go back to earliest recorded history. 
Inside, up to 60 men, Poles, Hungarians, Russians, all ex spetsnaz special forces, latest Soviet gear. The Eastern Plateau has a perimeter track which is motor patrolled by the army of an Afghan warlord. The only option is the northern lip, but you have to take out these positions before you drop in. Now, excuse me. When you say drop in, what exactly does that mean? We'll be parachuting in, Mr. Ambler. Parachuting? No. Oh, no, 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 no. What is your problem, Mr. Ambler? I get vertigo. Intense vertigo. Messy vertigo. Now listen, so what you do is pick up the hang glider, run up to the edge, and you dive. I dive. Define dive. Let's go. Watch. Phoenix will have died by old age by then. Jump! Ah. This is a maze? Whatever you do, do not look down. Secret weapon. <laughs> we have to change tactic. This is not working. The end is fine. It's the beginning that's wrong. This is not a standard operation. We've got to change the end. Hey, let me show you something. <coughs> hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Did you take your pill? Yes, I took the pill. Getting into trouble. Harder down there. You waste seven or eight seconds down there. But at the end of this is fine. The timing is right. Everybody's on a button. But at the beginning, down the car, you're wasting time. There's seven, eight seconds down there. There's nothing there. We know that from the ground plan. None but storage. Skip it. Rewrite the scenario. Another run. Listen, I want to run with you. Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? It's my goddamn diamond. I want to run. Not until you're ready. Are you trying to make me look like a fool? You are a fool. This is not Disneyland. Yeah, well, fuck you. I'm warning you, McQueen. Your boy messes with me. One more time, I'm gonna ship you right back to the big house. Now, you look me right in the eyes, you tell me you know I mean business. Well, you did it to me once. I have no reason to believe you wouldn't do it again. Hey, what in the fuck is that supposed to mean? Did you hear that? He thinks... Jonas! These guys are full of life. What do you care what they think? They're just trying to intimidate you, to scare you away. You're doing fine. You think I don't know what's going on around here? You're trying to get me to back out, intimidate me, so I'll call the whole thing off. Well, I got news for you. I will not be intimidated. I will not be scared off. Now, 
Turn off the fucking light and I'll do it again. <laughs> hey, this is not a joke. This is not a whim. That fucker killed my wife. You understand? My wife. in six hours. Double step. 40 clicks, six hour double step. 40 clicks, six hours, double step. What's a click? A kilometer. Oh, right, I know that. Yes. I'd be very happy to call everything off, Mr. Hepler. Just say the word. Nobody's calling anything off. Well, either you keep up or I call the chopper back in. Hawk, why don't you just shut the fuck up and go do your job? Okay. You want me to go help him with his gear? It's okay, it's okay, they're gone. Listen, I just want to get something straight between us. What? Your conscience is troubling you, Mr. Ambler? You think I planted those drugs on McLean, don't you? Don't you? Well, you're wrong. When I heard McLean had taken a fall, I realized you and I could help each other. Yeah, right, I took advantage of an opportunity, but I did not set him up. I did not do that. If I want to fuck with you, I'll do it to your face. I won't go behind your back. Listen, I don't care. 
if somebody hates my guts. But I insist on being hated for the right reason, not some bogus notion. Get down. There's a queen. Ah. 
Ah, the cup to nay. No, no. I think we have known of each other long enough for me to call you what your friends call you. Oh. I thought we'd meet someday. Have a drink, maybe. Talk about the old days, yes? Beirut. <clears throat> oh. Easy plan for me. In my part of the world, infections can be very dangerous. Logical. No. The author was just cover. Do you understand? You were the target. Not Mojdi. You. I was contracted to kill you by your Antonis and your chief security officer. Mr. Bailey and Mr. Cochran. The same man who called to alert me that you were coming here tonight. No. Mr. Cochran, time to wake up, sir. Okay, listen up. This is not good, people, not good at all. By this time, they should have hit the extraction point and called for the bird. If they'd have pulled this off, we'd have had panic on Phoenix Nets. Looks like we got a goddamn snafu, boys. Someone translate for me, please. Situation normal. Oh, fucked up. Between, how do you say? Geeks! Geeks! <laughs> yes. Not bad, eh? Huh? The food? Food is not bad. Mm -hmm. The women. Oh, the women, yes, huh? Huh? Oh. <laughs> women, not bad, eh? Look, better than the outside world. Ah, 
the outside world. Hmm? Nothing to believe in. So shallow. Huh? Nothing to fight for. Huh? <laughs> so this is what I thought. Now that you are here, we can actually make it very interesting. Mm. Play for high stakes. Life. Death. You fight me. You win, you get to go free. You lose. My accountant, he would be very disappointed. <laughs> Have a good night's sleep, eh? I won't execute you until morning. Take him back to his cell. Oh, Вечер.
Осторожно, найдите его.
just east of the target. Como? What do you got? I've got a scramble on the Phoenix Nets. Yeah. Phoenix is second in command, issuing orders to Sam Banners. Says his boss is down. And Hawk and the American businessman have his chopper. Yes! Uh oh. What? What is it? No. Move! I gotta rest. Okay. Screw you, you son of a fuck! Just got a contact from a mobile unit. Recon squad at the crash site. No bodies found. <laughs> Cut into their net. Tell Mr. Kling that our dearly departed Phoenix's employer wants to speak to him. Sit down, McLean. Trust me. I planted those drugs into your suitcases. And I'll plant a bullet into your brain just as a follow-up. I don't get it. You don't need to get it. As a professional courtesy, Mr. Cochran. 
Okay. Bailey here has been embezzling millions of dollars from corporate, corporate accounts. Well, uh, I, of course, have been getting my share. And when the Ambler insisted on going ahead with that stupid merger, he set off a standard SEC pre-transaction audit, which would have exposed us, so we had to get rid of him. Shh. But very, very suddenly, without any further investigation, an innocent bystander, victim of a terrorist attack, happens every day. Hell, I even got myself shot up, made it look real. Cochran, you're babbling! Calm yourself, Bailey. Dead men can't jump. Clean, Cochran here. I am a little busy, Mr. Cochran. Now you listen up, Major. I know you have enough good reasons to run those two down, but I'm up in the ante. You bring them both back to me in body bags. And I'll double your fees. You got to it's good for the key. I will consider that a binding commitment, Mr. Cochran. Good as gold. Get to that mountain, and we're halfway home. Halfway? Jesus, I don't think I have any skin left on my feet. Let's go. You used me as bait, didn't you? Yes. Smart.
Net, sir. Give me some good news, Major. They have made it through the mountains. Look, I don't pay for shoddy work, Clay. Now you gather up those satellite Afghan drug runners you're always bragging about and send them the fuck in there! Oh, yeah, I know what's going through your mind now, Mr. Cochran. Hawk's on his way back. My life expectancy is dropping with the trajectory of a throne. <laughs> be messing with my mind, Mac. I work long and hard, and I deserve some kind of security in my old age. I've got kids, and I haven't seen much growing up. And I got a sunset point coming. And if I don't take care of myself, no one else will. Why? Why? Come on. Okay, take off your shoes. I backtrack. Okay? Let's go.
Я вижу кровь. Смотрите, они... Master. Shakes after a job. Thanks. For what? For calling yellow bellied fear an adrenaline rush. How many hours till dawn? About three. They're going to try to kill us at first light. I could punch a hole if I had a silencer. What about a noisemaker? What? works. I did get my start as a TV repairman, you know. <clears throat> okay, with this kind of a boost, it's only gonna last a few seconds.
Get the radio. Single beat. When the motion now hits it, you have both better touch it. I think Kling's dead, Mr. Cochran. The Russians say they can't find his field radio either. Now we definitely have a top food situation here. Cochran, speak English. Things are really fucked up. Kling's dead. Our favorite sons have gotten through his line. Kling field radio is missing, which means they can home in on our signal. Not necessarily a bad thing. Bring his doomed ass over here. Looks like Phoenix's men are seeking other career opportunities, which means for the first time in three days I can be. Is Uncle Mac, do you read over? Come in, Uncle. Starting to worry about you, Hawk. Here's the deal. We have McLean. And you have Amber. If Amber comes out alive, McLean is buzzard breakfast. Is that clear enough? Oh. What do you expect me to do, Cochran? You knife him. Put a bullet to him. Just bring me proof. A finger will do. Bring me the, the third finger on his left hand. Make sure his wedding band is on it. You have four hours. Copy that. Blood and clear. Ah, thank God for small favorites. That was good. I think it's time we pay my trusted friends a visit, right? It's all over. We're in the clear. Fuck you, Jonas Ambler. <laughs> Fucking bastard. I ran his company. I did all the work. And what did I get in return? Virtually nothing. A salary. He should have made me a full partner years ago. Instead, the fucker hoarded it all for himself. He had the perfect house, he had the beautiful wife, he had the Forbes cover spread. Everybody thought he was this genius deal maker. Well, guess who made the better deal? Guy's got no option. Cochran. Yeah. And you probably realize you're not getting out of here. You put your weapon down real slow. Toss the evidence over here.
Is it there? Finish it, Cochran. See you in hell, muchacho. I wouldn't do that, Mr. Cochran. I may not be the greatest shot, but this is a very powerful rifle. A 7.62 millimeter. I might miss your heart, but I'll probably hit one of your two faces. You heard the man? Put your weapon down very slowly. I can't do that. Just do it now! It ain't gonna happen. You boys don't want me. You want the account? I'm just a gun on a payroll, just like you. Go ahead, take them. This shouldn't be personal. This shouldn't be emotional. Cochran, you're... You're out of your fucking mind. Shut the fuck up! Don't do anything stupid. Let's take a walk, Alan. No. Define no. Good, this is all making a lot of sense. Win-win, everybody wins. A little. <laughs> today. Don't you ever think of that? Shut up! Well, I know what you're doing. You're just trying to slow me down so big brother can come here and help you out, you asswipe. Hmm? Oh, shit. I was a guy who got your wife killed. Now you wait for somebody else to help you do the job. Oh. Oh. Stock tips for years to come. You call me anytime for anything. Mac. Thanks. 
Thanks. For everything. Hey. that I saw. An emotion? Things are looking up. <laughs> 